Hey guys, so it is Sunday, October 15th today, and I'm about to carve a pumpkin. I have Halloween on, and I have my Creep It Real sweatshirt on, Halloween lights on, so we are going to get to carving this guy right here. I have a whole bunch of stuff. I don't know what I'm going to use yet, and then I think I'm going to do a Frankenstein pumpkin this year, because I've never done one before, so we're going to try something a little bit different. So without further ado, let's get carving.
There it is. You're gonna lose your baby tooth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There she is. She got her tooth pulled. Yeah, I'm so tired. I know. Oh, honey. I know. Can we see it? What side is it? Here. This one. This side. There Yay, it is. It's all, it's all gone. Good. Good wow, girl. it looks really good. Good, Good job, sister. All right, what let's go home. Are. You want to go home and take a nap? Yeah. Oh, we're so tired, huh? Yeah. Oh. Pee pee. Yeah, I know. It's a bright sun, huh? Yeah, is Auntie Brooke driving the car? Oh. Her eyes. I know. <laughs> so tired. <laughs> there we go. She sure is. Hey guys, so it is about quarter to 10. It is Friday, October 20th, and I just got done filming my Halloween apartment tour for 2017, which you guys, if you've been subscribed to my channel for a while, then you know those go up every year on my channel on Halloween. Um, Oh, there we go. Okay, I was like, I can't find the footage. Where is it? So, uh, yeah, I just got done filming that, and I am watching The Cult of Chucky. Uh, I've been getting a lot of questions from you guys on that movie, like, if I like it, if I don't like it, like, what are my thoughts on it? Uh, this is currently my third time watching this movie, and I don't really have anything super great to say about it and I don't have anything super bad to say about it like I don't know it's just an okay movie will it ever be like the classic like child's play bride of Chucky absolutely not those hands down are the best in the franchise but I do appreciate that they are keeping the franchise alive I like the fact that Alex Vincent is in it um and I also like that um, Brad Dorf is still the voice of Chucky in the movies because I feel like they just wouldn't be the Chucky movies without him. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's just kind of my thoughts on it. Do I like the concept of it? Um, to a point, yes. At the same time, it is kind of like one of those cheesy, cheesy type movies. So I don't really know. That's just kind of my thoughts on it. Uh, I will probably buy it just because I do own all of the other ones and I feel like I have to own this one as well to go along with my collection. So I don't know, that's just like my thought process and the way I think. So um, yeah, anyway, I just kind of wanted to give you like a little mini review on that because I know a lot of people have been asking my thoughts on it. So uh, yeah, oh my gosh, what is new with me? I figured I would update you guys because I haven't really been vlogging a lot. And the sole reason for that is because of everything going on with YouTube right now and it is the Halloween season. Therefore, I have just been through the roof, extremely busy with so many different things. Um, I've been working a lot at my job. I've also, so basically how my week goes is every Monday through Friday, I will go to work. And then when I come home from work, I will lock myself in my filming room and film Halloween looks for you guys. So it's just been a very, very busy month for me. It usually always is this time of year, just because I do like to focus a lot of my time on Halloween looks so I've just been super busy with that and then since everything going on with the whole YouTube situation the whole ad apocalypse thing um, YouTube has really been kind of slacking for me and it's not necessarily my fault it's not my channel that's crashing it's basically YouTube that's crashing if you want to know like more information about it like go to my Twitter look it up on Google but it's like a crisis happening with YouTube right now, with every single YouTuber, not just me, it's not just my channel being affected. So that's also been really rough. So I've been trying to make up that loss at work and I've also applied for another job. So if I do get hired in at the job that I applied for, I will be working three jobs. Basically, 
Um, I will be working my coffee shop job in the morning. I will be working second shift at this other job. And then on the weekends, I will film for YouTube. So I'm just like really super stressed out trying to make everything work and just kind of balance everything and kind of have everything like fall into place so I can still, you know, maintain a roof over my head, maintain my apartment things like that. It's just, it's been very, very rough and I've been working so hard on my Halloween looks, getting them filmed, edited, and uploaded for you guys. Um, and it sucks because no one is seeing them, no one is watching them, and it's not really, it's not necessarily my subscribers aren't clicking on my videos, it's because YouTube isn't showing people that I'm uploading new videos. Even people who have notifications turned on aren't getting notified when I'm uploading a new video. Like it's, it's just, it's just very, very stressful. So I'm just trying to keep calm. I'm trying to stay happy. And even though my channel has been hit very, very drastically, like every time I upload a video now, YouTube automatically demonetizes it. And I don't even make a penny from that video. I still enjoy uploading videos. I still enjoy the whole process of YouTube as a whole and usually I know YouTubers I call bullshit because when YouTubers say I'm not doing it for the money, okay maybe they're not fully but to an extent they are especially people who do YouTube as a full-time job they do depend on the money they make from YouTube. So when they say they don't do it for the money, to a point that is a load of shit, but now I'm going through it and I'm experiencing a hit, um, I now know that I really don't do YouTube just for the money. Like I still enjoy the whole process of it. Like, is this making sense to anybody? Like, I feel like if you're a YouTuber watching this, then it makes sense, but to everyone else, you're probably like, what the fuck is she even talking about? So. Uh, yeah, that's just everything going on with that. So I haven't heard yet um, if I got the other job or not, which I won't for a while because I just sat in my application. So I probably have a few days before I get any sort of call or maybe I won't get a call at all. You know, maybe it's just not meant to be. Now, you guys did see that um, Avril did have a tooth pulled and she's doing really good. It really wasn't a big deal. Basically the whole deal with that was she had her two adult canine teeth and she had lost her baby canine on one side and she still had it, she still had her baby tooth on the other side and it wasn't loose, like it wasn't coming loose, she wasn't losing it. I love Chucky with the short hair. It's just so funny to me. <laughs> okay, sorry, I'm getting distracted. So basically when that happens, it can cause a lot of issues for dogs if they don't lose their baby teeth. It just kind of was putting a lot of pressure on her gums and causing a lot of irritation. And there was also a lot of gunk getting stuck in between. So basically she just had to have that baby tooth pulled. It wasn't a big deal or anything. So we got that done. I still haven't shown you guys uh, the Jeep. You know that we did sell the lifted Jeep, the one that I was driving. We did end up selling that Jeep and we did get another Jeep and I haven't even showed it to you guys yet. So I might do that tomorrow, just kind of take you guys on like a little car tour and show you what it looks like and everything like that because we absolutely love it. It's, it's just, it's perfect for us. That's basically all the updates that I wanted to give right now. Uh, I'm gonna get to editing this Halloween tour so I can get it edited and ready for Halloween and I will probably talk to you guys in a little bit. So I'll see you later. Bye. Good morning, everyone. It is quarter to 11 in the morning and I got up at nine today. Uh, ate some breakfast, got some dishes soaking and I really want a coffee. Really bad. I woke up with like the littlest headache and it's like still lingering. I took like painkillers for it, but I am just slowly starting to feel it getting worse. So I just feel like shit, which really sucks because I wanted to film today, but I like it's, I can't film with a headache. Like I know that may sound like first world problems, but like I can't like stare at a camera and like have energy and like stare into like a big ring light when I have a headache. Like I just, I can't do it. Um, so yeah, that kind of sucks. I don't know what I'm gonna do if I maybe feel like filming later. <sighs> I don't know, but I'm probably gonna go get a coffee and I figured I could bring you guys with me. That way I could show you 
the car, the new Jeep, show you guys what I'm driving in nowadays, and stuff like that, and then, oh, maybe if I don't feel like editing, or editing, oh my gosh, if I don't feel like filming today, maybe I'll just edit videos, which I have a ton of that to be, to get done. Take you guys out right now, we're gonna go get a coffee together, and I'm gonna show you a car tour, so let's get going. All right guys, so here is the new Jeep. It's 2004 Jeep Grand Cherokee Limited. It is all black. Uh, looks really good. The only flaw is there's, there's a little dent on the hood with a little bit of rust, but that's just typical for a used vehicle. So it's just all four wheel drive. Yeah, there's the back of it. I'm gonna just show you the back without showing the license plate. Yep, it's really, really nice. A decent sized trunk, which I've never had before because my first car was a two-door car. And then I had the lifted Jeep, which didn't really have much space in it. So we have a lot of space in here now. I don't know why there's leaves back there, but you know, whatever, so. Yeah, that's the trunk. We have the inside of the car, this side of the way. As you can see, it's all black leather interior. It's the back seat in there, and then the trunk. So, really, really nice interior. Uh, we have a sunroof as well, which is really pretty. Um, yeah, so the leather's in really good condition. It's not like ripped or anything like that. So yeah, that's what that. And then here is where I sit. And it's actually really cool because in this one, the pedals move up. So I don't have to be so close to the steering wheel because the pedals move up enough to the point where I can reach without hugging it. So, and it also has this cute little spot right here where I can put my camera. Will it stay? I don't really know, but um, this is just where I can put my camera to vlog now, which is super convenient. Um, I don't know if it'll stay while I'm driving, but... Woo! And this is a V8, and I've never driven, like, a V8 before, so it's all very new to me. Sorry. We have the radio here. It has an aux cord heat, seat warmers, the little pedal adjuster thing there, um, spot for my phone, which I don't ever, ever touch my phone when I'm driving. I'm not, I'm not an experienced driver to be playing with my phone. Even if you are an experienced driver, you shouldn't be playing with your phone, but I absolutely love, love Jeeps. I'm probably just gonna go to McDonald's because they're cheaper than my work. Even though I really kind of want a latte, at the same time I don't because I don't really want to like, have all that milk in my stomach, you know what I mean? So, I don't know, we'll see. Here we go, take you guys for a ride in the new Jeep. This is so exciting. It feels so weird not to have a lifted vehicle anymore. Like, cause I'm so used to the big Jeep, obviously, that I'm just so used to like, um, I'm just so used to like jumping up into the vehicle and all that stuff. Like, it's just so different and crazy to me. Hopefully the camera doesn't fall everywhere. Cause I don't have like a proper mount yet. I asked Shane if it was okay if I could get a mount for her in here so I could vlog while I'm in the car, but and he said it's fine, I just haven't gotten one yet. Busy, busy, busy. God, I didn't realize how busy it was this time of day. Oh, that's another thing. The new Jeffree Star Cosmetics uh, launch is happening today at one o'clock. So I'm really excited for that. Holy shit, like this is a small town that I live in, but the road, it like, it looks like a highway right now. Like it's so busy. I don't understand. There we go. 
We made it. Place your order when you're ready. Can I get a medium hot mocha with whole milk and whipped cream? Is that all for you today? Uh, yeah, that's it. Alright, that'll be 2 with the first window. Thank you. real quick so um if you guys work in a place where you have a drive through like if you work in like you know fast food anything that has some sort of drive through my biggest pet peeve is when people their windows don't work so they use the drive through with their door open I hate that because first of all when you're ordering I can't hear a goddamn thing you're saying and then like it just makes it awkward because like I don't know it just bothers me and this lady in front of me is doing it and it's like don't come through the drive through if your window doesn't work like get off your lazy ass and go inside and like I don't know just the thing I wanted to share okay I'm gonna pay now I do the medium mocha yes uh, 296 thank you thank you Thank you. All right, guys. Success. And I'm gonna go out this way because I'm not about to fuck with all this traffic. took you guys for a ride oh I'll probably take you guys with me to Walmart one of these days probably not in this vlog but maybe in my next vlog I'll take you guys to Walmart because um, I decided I wanted to do this thing and I can't believe I never decide decided to do it before but I want to make a photo album of all of my Halloween looks that I've ever done like I think that would be super cool just to have like an album of just all my Halloween looks. So I, after this season, after I get everything transferred to a memory card, I want to take it to Walmart and get everything um, like transferred and printed out and make it into a photo album. I think that would be super duper cool. So let me know what you guys think of that idea. If you want to come to Walmart with me, that would be awesome. But yeah, I'm going to go inside now and probably put some makeup on. Maybe look better. <laughs> Maybe I'll feel better. So yeah, I will see you guys in just a few minutes. So. Hello! So today is Friday, October 27th, and I actually have the day off work today, which is weird on a Friday. I usually work, you know, five days a week and then have weekends off, um, but it's actually my weekend on today, so I got Friday off to kind of relax before the weekend. So um, it's just about 10 o'clock right now, and I was just about to cut up some lemons, but I figured that I would come on here and finish this vlog really quick so I can start a new one. Um, I'm sorry it's so dark in here. It's like 10 o'clock in the morning. However, it's like super um, like rainy. Not rainy, but like just kind of like murky out. Just kind of like cloudy and, and gross and stuff. So maybe I'll just come sit over here so the lighting's a little better. I took Jackal to his vet appointment on the 25th, which I didn't end up taking my vlog camera for that just because I'm not... You know, I can vlog sometimes when I'm driving, but other than that, I just need to have, like, full concentration on the road and what I'm doing because I am, I am very scared of driving. It's not something I enjoy doing, so I just like to have full concentration. So I didn't take my vlog camera on the drive for that. Uh, basically, I had to take him to the vet because lately his bowel movements haven't been very normal. They've been uh, just not good 
usual bowel movements that a dog should be having so I decided to take him in to make sure that everything down there was okay. I, I had them make sure his prostate wasn't swollen or anything like that and I I asked the vet tech, I'm like, I don't know if maybe his anal glands need to be expressed or something like that. So when the vet came in, uh, she had another vet tech come in and hold him and she went to check his anal glands and his right one was completely clean and normal. And then when she checked the left one, it was very infected and it was seriously such a shitty ass day because when she started expressing it he was screaming like he was like screaming crying howling like he was in so much pain and after she finished expressing it she said he has an infected anal gland so and I know that's like a common thing for dogs like it's not uncommon it's not dangerous it's not deadly it could be dangerous and deadly if it goes untreated but See, I've had Jackal for a little over five years now and I've always expressed his anal glands externally about once a month or once every two months whenever it would get kind of like a fishy smell or his poop was a little off, I would express them myself. So that's why his right one was okay, but sometimes just like, you know, dogs, their anal glands just sometimes get impacted and infected. It just happens. It's nothing I did wrong or anything. So, um, oh, sorry, it smells good. <laughs> so uh, yeah we did that and she has him on antibiotics I don't really know what they're called um, this is the bottle and he is on metro nidazole met metro diesel diesel I don't really know um, so he's on that two times a day and we're gonna see how it goes uh, they also have me bring in a poop sample from him so they could test it for like parasites and other diseases that he may have that could be, you know, affecting this. And luckily all those tests came back negative. They called me yesterday with the results. So he's, his poop is totally okay. It's just the infected anal gland. So he's on the antibiotics for two times a day for a few days. And then we're gonna see how he goes from there. They said they'd probably wanna see him back in like six weeks to express, to check his glands again or sooner if he's not having like regular bowel movements. I don't know what's on my face. So yeah, that's the, that's the plan with that. Um, I hope that wasn't eyeliner on my face. Oh well. So that's the deal with that. I also got him a daily chew, chewy.com. It's called Glandex and basically it's like a chew that helps support anal gland health. Like basically it adds like some fiber to their to their system that way when he poops his poops are a little bit bigger and a little bit thicker that way his glands can express more naturally instead of them you know him just having like wet stringy poop and having them get trapped and impacted with all the bacteria so we're gonna try that it hasn't arrived yet i'm hoping the antibiotics really kind of nip the infection in the butt but we'll see he was not doing very well. It was seriously so heartbreaking. It seems like they've been needing a lot of like medical attention lately and I don't know. I'm just, I'm trying not to get stressed about it, but I, I don't even care about finances. I don't care if I can't pay another bill. Like I'm going to be taking care of my dogs. Like my dogs are my number one priority and I knew Jackal was a little off. So I knew he had to go in and thank God I took him in. Otherwise it probably would have ruptured and that just would have been a mess and painful and expensive. One, another reason how I caught it is when I was expressing them maybe a few weeks ago, I noticed his right one, like I could, cause you know, if you're a dog owner and you do this, you know, I could see like, you know, the normal stuff. And then when I squeezed more on the left side, it looked like very thick and kind of like there was almost poop in his anal gland and I was like, okay, this is not normal. That is not supposed to come out of there. I need to take him to the vet. So I called and made an appointment and that's what, that's what we did. So yeah, that's what my last couple of days have been like. Um, I'm not really doing anything today because I'm getting caught up on editing and uploading a ton of videos because it's the 27th. Uh, there's only four days left in October and I have maybe like five videos to get up and out, including this vlog. So. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing today. I also got my Jeffree Star um, package from the Star Family Collection, so I might film that later. Not really sure what I'm gonna do, so. Yeah, but I just wanted to update you guys on the dog. Other than that, they're both doing really well. It was a year and one month now. She is on different food now, and um, 
Jackal is... He seems to be doing better. I don't think he feels 100% yet. The day of his vet appointment, he tried to go poop later that night. And um, he, you could just tell he was a little sore. Like it, like it kind of hurt him to go to the bathroom. So, But he seems to be doing a little better now. But yeah, that's really all I wanted to update you guys quickly on. So I will start another vlog soon because I have something very exciting happening in the next couple of weeks. So I will definitely be sure to vlog that. I'm really, really, really excited about it. So yeah, but I'm going to end this vlog here so I can get started on some editing. If you guys enjoyed this vlog, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to go down and subscribe. But as always, I will see you guys in my next vlog. I love you guys. Bye.